as humans we need to be responsible towards nature sadly its existence now depends on how we treat it we need to protect it and keep it alive no matter what we don't want to imagine a life without nature coexisting with us do we snakes lately our fear has led to the downfall of their population the need to educate ourselves a little more about them has risen these wild and beautiful creatures need to be preserved before they become extinct we see a snake and we think of poison and all we want to do is kill it the fact is not all snakes are poisonous snakes do not harm anyone unless they feel threatened they crawl away to their hole and do not interfere with human existence but still we do not even think twice before killing it we have never even tried to identify a snake before lifting the weapon in self defense snakes have unique identification marks before we react it is important that we identify whether the snake is venomous or not the possibility of a venomous snake being found in areas of extended human civilization is less but if they are found then killing is not the option snakes are actually harmless like all other creatures they mind their own business unless provoked just like we do not like them entering our spaces they don't like us entering theirs snakes are a great advantage to us according to the biological cycle snakes are the biggest consumers of rodents and other creatures that harm our crops a reason why they are worshiped extensively in india they are a boon to the farmers nature has designed everything for a purpose then who are we to interfere snakes are being killed all over the world for several reasons to some they are food 
to some their skin is to be made into clothes and accessories and to others they are a cause of danger and in this process we are on the verge of endangering one of nature's most beautiful creatures It is tough for us to change our ideologies all of a sudden. Snakes were always seen as a negative sign. But we need to educate ourselves and change our perception. Today, when we find a snake in our backyard or anywhere in our immediate surroundings, let's not kill it. And why should we? if it could be rescued and left in its own habitat there is help available and it's just a phone call away the friends of snake society is a group in hyderabad passionate towards conservation of snakes they are a team which rescues snakes from wherever possible and leaves them in their respective habitats their mission is to rescue snakes but on a higher ground they are also bringing a lot of people out of the wrong illusion about snakes especially now here right here in hyderabad if you have a snake problem you don't have to worry all you need to do is instead of become the biggest stick to kill him pick up the phone and give us a call and we'll come rescue the snake and take him away and release him in a habitat that suitable for him to you know live his life out we will not pose a threat to anyone more importantly people won't pose a threat to him so that's what uh, the friend of snake says so in case the next time you ever see a snake pick up the phone and give us a call we'll take care of all your snake problems a lot of such teams operate all over the world we just need to update ourselves be it in terms of identifying the snake or locating for help so this is the most common form of pet water snakes known as the checkered field bag because of the checkered remember nature always reacts the way it's treated history has left many examples to prove this we need to be a little matured in our approach towards the wild Let's make friends with these snakes. Let's rescue them from extinction and more importantly get rid of our fearful misconceptions. Don't provoke a snake or enter its personal space and see how it will never be a cause of threat. Be it man or be it wild, both are equally important aspects of nature. one does not have to suffer in the hands of other we do not want to be responsible for another extinct species let's help in our own small ways to keep the nature intact